Hello YouTube. Today we're going to be doing some linear algebra and we're going to be talking about the special solution. Now this equation should be quite familiar with you. If not, um, pretty much this is the complete solution or the general solution um, for the system. And it's composed of the particular solution as well as special solutions. So I did a previous video on finding the particular solution when you're given a uh, vector um, to work with. Now we're going to be talking about finding special sol solutions. So this component here. So, um, the directions say find a special solution vector s in null space of R that corresponds to the first free column. Okay, so first let's figure out where the first free column is. Uh, well, that would be um, where the first red line is, that column right there, negative 8, 3, and negative 1. Um, as you can see, we have the identity matrix there on the left. Those are each, each one represents a pivot for each row. Um, so, since each one has a pivot, the ones that the columns that don't have a pivot in them are free columns. So those are the two free columns on the right there since there are no pivots in those columns. Now, so we're going to find speci the special solution specifically to the first column. But in order to do that, um, oh yeah, these are the free variables. Uh, let's write out the equations um, as such. So remember, each column corresponds um, to a variable, right? So we have 1x1 plus 0x2 plus 0x3 minus 8x4 minus 9x5. And in order to find um, the special solution, you must set your um, vectors, or that equal to 0 in order to solve for now. Um, so, do it again. We have x2 plus 3x4 minus 9x5 equals 0. And then we have x3 minus x4 plus 8x5 equals 0. Okay, so now let's just solve for x1, x2, and x3. So all you're going to do is add everything on the right to the opposite side, right? And I'm going to put this in the vector form here so we can have a vector that represents all the possible solutions that you can have um, for each x1, x2, x3, x4, and x5 you choose. So x1 follows this form, right? You add 8x4 to both sides, add 9x5 to both sides if you manipulate the equation above. Same thing, you manipulate the other equations, you just solve for x2 and x3. Now, since we have the free variables here, all you gotta do is put them in the matrix. Um, free variables can be meaning free that they can be any number at all. Um, so, but x1, x2, and x3, since they have pivots in them, they are restricted um, to certain types of entries. So, now in order to find the special solution in the first free column, well, our first free variable is at x4. So what we're going to do is we're going to set x4 equal to 1 and set all remaining free variables equal to 0, which is x5 in this case. So you simply plug in x4 um, equal to 1 in the matrix there on the left representing the solutions, and then you will get your special solution for the first free column, S1, first free column. So, um, 8, plus, 8 times 1 plus 0, then you have negative 3 times 1 is 3, negative 3 plus 0, so negative 3, 1 minus 0 is 1, and then our free variables, remember they're all 0, um, oh wait, oh no, never mind, so x4 is 1, excuse me, that's not the free variable. The last one's the free variable. There. So simply, this is x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 in that order um, for the matrix. Now that's your special solution. You found it uh, for the first free column. Now what if I asked you to find it for the second column? Well, remember, this is what we solved for um, back here. This was kind of like our outline for finding the special solutions in the, in the process here. So now we're going for the second column. So that means we're going to let x5 equal to 1. See how that's the second um, free column there? It's the second underlined red part. It's the second free variable, second free column. So then we set all remaining free variables equal to zero. In this case, it's only x4. We don't have any other free variables. So same thing. You plug in the numbers into the uh, matrix here, and you'll get your special solution for the second column, um, or the second free column, excuse me. Um, so we have uh, 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 1 is 9 again negative 8 times 1 is negative 8, and then remember our x4 is 0 this time, and we set x5 equal to 1, and that's your special solution for the second free column. And that's it. That's finding the special special solutions. So pretty much, um, you 
want to pretty much row reduce when if you need to, or most of the time you will actually, and then solve for x1, x2, and x3. Uh, set your free variables equal to zero except for the one that you want to solve for. Each special solution corresponds to a free variable. Um, and then you solve for each one respectively, and that's pretty much it. I uh, hope that helped, and good luck and happy studying.